Hey guys, it's Diane from DianeHockman.com and the Home and Small Business Network and I want to do some marketing talk with you guys today. Um, I just got off a call a few minutes ago, um, gathering, there's about 50 of us, 60 of us, um, just a casual Q&A on marketing and it seems like the same topics come up over and over and over so I think it's important that I create some videos to help you guys with this. First thing I want to talk about is the concept that was taught to me by my mentor Joe Schroeder which is I'm looking for people that are looking for me. Now when I learned this concept it absolutely changed my business because I was taught initially that I was to go out and look for people and try to convince them. Uh, I was involved in network marketing, um, still am, love network marketing, love the industry, but I was taught that my business and my product was for everybody and that I was to go out on the streets and solicit people. Now this didn't work out very well for me, and granted there are some people that are really good at this, but for me it, it, just, it just made me you know, sick to my stomach. Um, uh, going up to people and trying to pitch them and saying things like if I could show you a way to earn an extra $500 around what you're already doing would you want to take a look? That just wasn't for me and um, I also always felt like I was convincing people and it felt wrong. So when I first heard Joe Schroeder say I'm looking for people that are looking for me that made sense and I started to document in my journals these are my old journals from back then um, I got two of them these are from 2005 um, I started to document who my people were and what they were looking for. So my target market, the people that would be right match for me and the product line I was representing at the time, and what they were looking for so that I could, like a bunny, hop up in front of them. Now guys, this was before social media. This was before YouTube. I think YouTube was just starting to exist then, um, before blogs were just coming out. I mean, all this Twitter and Facebook and MySpace, none of that existed. And there were sites that were just allowing us to use tags and keywords, and SEO was a whole different animal back then. So it's a little more complicated today, but back then I learned really quickly how to use certain words that would target people that were looking for me. Now, what I want you guys to understand is most people haven't figured out who is the right person for them, who's the right customer or the right distributor or the right prospect, and they don't know where those people are hanging out, so they're struggling and it's painful and it's, it's just every day is like, you know, just rough. Um, especially if you're what, what we call dialing for dollars. If you're dialing and doing so many dials a day, you know the pain of that. If you can do it, rock and roll. Never stop doing what's working, guys. Never, ever, ever stop what doing. And some people are natural at it. They're good at it. But for me, I needed to create advertising and marketing that brought the right prospects to me. Once they came to me, I had no problem. So consider, have you figured out who exactly is your people or persons. Who are they? Who's your market? And a lot of people get confused because they keep thinking, well, I have this product and that product and this, this and that. Pick something. Pick a market. Pick um, women over age 45 who are just starting to know the signs of aging on their face and are horrified when they wake up in the morning. Pick people who have just been diagnosed as diabetics and they're looking for natural alternatives to drugs to correct their diabetes. Pick, you know, I don't know what your market is. Pick people that normally would go on a big exotic vacation every year and because of um, circumstances and finances they can't go and they're looking for reasonable alternatives and you sell a travel membership. Um, who are they? Where are they on the internet? Where are they looking? Or in what publications are they looking in? If you can figure this out and you also can communicate well about what problem you solve for the people, it's a slam dunk, baby. It's a slam dunk. The game's over. You don't need fancy websites, you don't need this, you don't need that. All you need to do is have the right solution in front of the right people with a problem. Message to market match, boom, you're done. So guys, that's just a concept to think on, to work on. I'd take out my journal, I'd start writing about who my perfect prospect is, where they are. 
And if we can help you at all, homeandsmallbusinessnetwork.com, visit there. Um, we have reasonably priced tools, training, workshops, webinars, the whole kit and caboodle, everything you need to market your home or small business. Whether you're in network marketing or you own a Main Street you know, storefront, whether you own a private practice, whatever it is that you have that you're looking to enhance, we have tools and training for you. So we'll see you guys next time. Take care.